I'm here to read you the book called Nothing in Common. It is written by Kate Hofler and Karina Lykin. I hope you enjoy this story. It was written in 2020, so it could win for the 2021 Caldecott Award. Pay attention to the pictures and see what you think. Nothing in Common. The author dedicated it for mom and dad who guide me when I'm lost and for Huey, a marvelous dog. And the illustrator dedicated it for Jane and the Aristes whose dinner table is famous for bringing people together. They had nothing in common. So they never waved. Except every day they loved watching the old man with his dog. The dog could do marvelous things and did. Things they felt under the floors of their hearts. But other than that, they had nothing in common. Oh, the pictures almost look like you could just reach in and touch them. They look like they have a lot of texture to them. Still, they were the only ones who noticed when one day was different. Oh, it's got a lost dog. I can see it on the flyers. Neither had ever seen an old man cry or heard a name called so sadly it flies through your window and lands on your chest. It happened just to them. When morning came, they both went out with binoculars and a helmet for thinking because a marvelous dog could be anywhere doing anything and a marvelous friend is hard to find. They both knew that. They looked at the same quiet rooftops and under the same whale and near the same planets. And they thought of the same old man crying, but other than that, they had nothing in common. My goodness, guys, I keep, I'm, I keep filling the page because it looks like it's like bubbly and that would come out, but it's actually really smooth. That day, when a hot air balloon floated over the city, they were the only ones who thought a dog might be flying it. A marvelous dog who was lost and looking for his friend far and wide. It could happen, only they knew that. It was a big way for a dog to look for someone and a big thing for just two of them to notice. But dogs aren't birds. They can't see their way home from the sky especially a dog without binoculars. And a balloon is a great moon with ropes. You need another person with a helmet. Someone who knows exactly where a balloon dog wants to go. Someone marvelous like that. It was a slow walk, one with time to notice things. Things they hadn't noticed before, tall things. How patient a dog in the sky is how they both had the same feeling inside, a deep feeling that ballooned out. They pulled and pulled and they knew the same way back because they knew the same stars and the same earth and the same quiet rooftops they saw every night from their windows. And because they'd noticed the same old man every day, just the two of them, The old man who cried this time because he was happy. Because the dog could do marvelous things and did. Each thought the other was marvelous too, even though they had nothing in common. Nothing. And that's something. So even if you think you don't have nothing in common with somebody, you might have something in common. That was a very interesting story. You can go back and listen to it and kind of get your own meaning for what you think is truly happening in this story. I hope you enjoyed Nothing in Common. Have a great day.